I'm actually so proud of like where my hair is going right now. It's crazy because before Corona struck here, yeah, I was due to get a silk press and literally the week everything was going mad. I was like, oh, do I go, do I not go, do I go, do I not go? And the next minute, full on lock off, lockdown, everything done. Anyways, this is not what we came here for. I came here to talk to you about Miss Rona. Staying at home is long from, long from, Guys, I hope everyone is good. I hope everyone is well. If you're watching this video, chances are you're very blessed right now. You're probably in relatively good health. You're probably at home, self-isolating. and probably chilling, maybe bored and just thought, why not? Let me watch it. But the point is, if you're in that situation, you're in a very good place right now compared to a lot of people who have sadly had encounters with the virus or maybe they even have a place to stay right now or life is just looking a little bit bleak and mad and whatnot the point i'm making is that for many of us right now is peak but it's not as bad as we think obviously the situation is not nice and i'm not playing it down whatsoever but one thing I do want us to think about is a lot of us now are worrying 10 times, 10 times than we were before. And fact of the matter is, okay, yes, life has tipped upside down, changed as we know it, flipped 180. But the thing is, whether you recognize it or not, we always had problems. Like, we actually always had problems. Maybe I had a problem today, you had a problem tomorrow. The point is, we were always having things hitting us, coming at us, left, right, center, but it's a thing where we were all too blind to see it. Many of us know how to wear the mask, um, not that mask, but how to wear the veil, the mask, that basically hides how we're really feeling or what we're really going through. You're living your life, I'm living mine. We can be passing each other on the street. We can be neighbors, we can be friends, and we don't even know what the next person's going through and I think a prime example that stands out for me is the other day well I say the other day when I was finishing up work we had a meeting I had to go to central London really early and I had to go in rush hour and literally as I was going yeah and when I just looked at people's faces and saw literally how people were just literally like moving like robots yeah it hit me that wow this is not this is not normal but somehow it's become normal like it really wasn't normal for me because i'm not used to traveling at that time but i realized for people who start work in central london at you know maybe nine o'clock 8 30 whatever it is that kind of robotic behavior has literally become the norm and chances are people are not actually robots but their mind is preoccupied with whatever's going on and they're just in autopilot mode of get up, get ready, go to work, do work, go home, eat my dinner, go gym or whatever, get ready for bed, go sleep, wake up and do the same thing again. Literally, it has become the norm to behave like this, especially in the UK, but I feel as humans, um, there's a loss of connection. Whereas now, for the first time, maybe in our generation, I was gonna say history, but I, th I think it's our generation. It could even be history. We have a global problem. We have a universal problem, something that everyone is affected by, everyone is seeing going on, everyone knows. And because of that, it almost seems that there's been more love shown, more community shown, more support. Sorry, I had to get little man out. But yeah, for the first time, we have a universal problem, something that we're all sharing in, something that we're all dealing with. And I think with that said and done, it's, it's made people kind of wake up and think about their neighbor. It's made people think, do you know what? What can I do to support in this crisis? You're seeing companies and organizations coming forward, giving three months of subscription, um, giving, things to watch and do online courses listen if you're a broke person today yeah this is prime time this is prime time this is prime time because the things that people are offering is like gold and you don't even have to pay a cent for it as long as you've got a little internet or something 
more time you can access these things support groups on facebook there is love on facebook with people going and making sure that their neighbors have got food or essentials doing food swaps picking up all these different things and it's like wow although it's really been a mad time i find it so beautiful to see just how people are coming together on instagram you've got the challenges on tiktok you've got the jokes on house party you've got the social communication interaction all of these things and it's like as much as social media can be annoying and mess with your mental i feel if any a time it's been good to us or it's been literally a godsend is now like even people's businesses people are looking at ways to transfer things and get them online but really the main message that i wanted to kind of focus on is just literally the support that's been shown across the board really for one another that's how i'm still more or less seeing things i know there's different theories and thoughts and things out there about you know what's gonna happen or what's going on and that i ain't here to comment on that i'm just here literally to look at as a human race like what are we getting from this i've learned that this is really a time for reflection a time to really think what what am i doing with myself what do i even want to do with life what really matters i think so many times like i said before when you're on that rat race when you're on that grind when you're just going work and you're on this eat sleep repeat type vibe it's so easy to lose sight of what truly matters it's so easy to wind yourself up and get stressed and worry about you know if you don't get this done that done what's going to happen and literally the earth has pulled to a standstill and said hold up wait a minute and now all of a sudden you have a minute like you actually have a minute and i know some of you are out there working from home and it's mad and you know clients are getting lost left right and center your 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 workplace is demanding things of you and it still feels stressful but one thing i can say is that even with that said if there's any a time you're gonna have time to do something it's now like if you are working from home but you've got that little side hustle even if you can't execute it fully there's things you can do for it right now all that time you're cutting from not commuting from not being in an office from not having things move as fast paced as usual that's time that's a resource your own currency literally time to do something that you want to do whatever it may be and it's not always going to be a side hustle or business idea it might just be to have 15 minutes to read a book for me i'm someone who is always busy always doing things and i think one of the first things that happened to me in this situation was i had loads of ideas or things that i wanted to do to help or you know figure out how to move forward in this time but then it started to get all overwhelming and the one thing that i think hit me was like raw take a minute take a moment for yourself take a moment for yourself because things are always moving like this and right now things are like this take a moment to breathe take a moment for calm and the one thing that had been pressing on my mind more than anything was take a moment to actually study god's word to read your bible because with me do i do youth leadership a lot of the planning that i do for like the youth services and things is the time when i when i'm proper in my bible but when it comes to just reading it for me reading it just for my own sanity reading it just to understand more about god's nature and his character not for an end goal to produce something at the end but just for me um it literally just doesn't happen like i will set myself a time 8 p.m you're gonna do this and then 8 p.m i'm still on road do you know what i mean but i feel like with this with this being enforced upon us that we have to self-isolate that you're at home you don't have no distraction have no one turn up at your yard nothing like that it's actually given me that time to literally sit down and be like boy if you're gonna do this if you want to do this you've, you've actually got time to do it you know like there is actually no distraction it's if you allowing and creating the distraction because there's actually no distraction do you know what i mean and i think in me even doing that i've just been getting things like i've just been feeling blessed i've been feeling 
at peace. I've been feeling refreshed, uplifted. I'm having ideas and then I read something in the Bible and it just connects and I'm like, wow, like this is actually amazing. This is actually amazing. And with that all said, it just reminds me of something I saw on Instagram. I think it was last week and it said, if you have things you're saying you want to do, if it is that business plan you need to finish, if it is that book you want to read, if it is that script you want to write, if it is spending time with God, whatever it is, if you're not doing it, if you come out of this period and you haven't done it, yeah, you haven't even made a start, you haven't even tried to be consistent, yeah, with that whatever it is that diet that exercise whatever it is is it really time you lacked or was it discipline and you see when i heard that yeah i was like raw even for me i've been saying i want to come back to youtube want to come back to youtube and yeah i did record some stuff and i was editing them but now not gonna lie some of them videos they're they're good they're good content but they're redundant in the current situation and I thought, damn, this means I'm going to have to record new content. And I was always somehow managing to find something to stop me from doing it. Sometimes out of my control, but a lot of the time in my control. Like, sometimes you just need to wake up earlier. Sometimes you just need to tidy up your studio space. Like, sometimes you just need to do something. And the truth is, you just can't be bothered. And if that's the case, then it ain't nothing to do with time. It's to do with discipline. It's to do with you and your own enemy of progress behaviour. Yeah. It's a surreal time we're living in, guys. And yeah, I who, who would have thought April 2020 we'd be doing up quarantine? But the point is we're here. We're here and I feel the same way as a surreal time is the same way you need to do something surreal. You need to push yourself out your comfort zone. You need to do something that you've dreamt of but never thought you could do. Whether it was because of fear, whether it was because of time, whatever it was, yeah, it was that big idea that you thought, no, I can't do that. Now's your time. Yes, we can't go outside all the time, but that doesn't mean you can't be pushing yourself indoors, preparing for when you do come out. I guess just as an added bonus, people right now are probably more free than ever. I'm seeing facade drop down, ego drop down, everything non like everything that people used to work so hard to maintain, this mask, this veil, this perfect whatever. It's coming down, it's coming down, it's coming down. Why? Because I can't go nail technician. You can't get your eyelash done, yeah? You ain't got work to worry about if they're watching you, yeah? You can just be yourself, yeah? Because there's bigger things to worry about, like coronavirus. So literally, if there's any time that you can just be, free up yourself, in, ter in terms of character, by the way, nothing else. If there's any time that you can just literally try something new, throw up a little dance video, rap or whatever it is that you do, poetry, show people your what you knitted last Christmas, anything, now's the time because people literally care but they don't care, do you know what I mean? Like now people genuinely care, they don't care about the nonsense, they actually just genuinely care about you um, and again sorry if you don't have that because then you really need to check your environment. But the point is, right now, it's a time of love. It's a time to share. It's a time to literally embrace one another and embrace yourself and who you are. Because I think if we come out of this and you really fail to seize the opportunity to grow, then you've done yourself a disservice. And growth doesn't always mean what is my next business idea, getting to this weight or this size. Growth can literally just mean that you gave yourself some me time growth can just mean you know what i've been saying i want to do something different i'm gonna order a guitar and i'm gonna learn to play just a few chords or i'm gonna learn spanish i'm gonna learn gujarati whatever it is literally it doesn't mean you have to become the best at that thing but just pushing yourself out your comfort zone pushing yourself to try pushing yourself to literally have a surreal experience in a surreal experience will probably be one of the best things you can do right now so that's my message for you 
I do want to take a moment just to literally think about those that have suffered in this time. I know some people have are experiencing grief right now and don't even know, um, or oh, sorry, experience loss right now and don't even know how they're going to deal with the whole arrangements for losing a loved one or if they're even allowed to attend things like funerals. It's, it is crazy. It is crazy. But as I said, there's always craziness going on in the world and whilst we can't control that we can control how we respond so literally i challenge you guys to get lit in a quarantine literally enjoy yourself do what you need to do for you see i'm getting called it's not finished babe could you wait please Why? Why could you could... just wait five minutes but yeah this is the time literally if you need to switch up your circle it's the time if you need to have some time with yourself no distraction no socials nothing it's the time if you need to get to know your neighbors it's the time literally i think we've been given a chance at something that doesn't really come around often and whilst it's easy to see the negatives there are some beautiful positives some beautiful silver linings that if we're not careful we will miss so i just want to leave that with you guys i hope everyone is blessed if there's anything you're doing that you think has helped you that you want to leave in the comments for someone else please do if there's um if you've heard what i've said today and you agree or maybe you have something to add or whatever again throw it in the comments like let's support each other at this time let's not get caught up in things that are just gonna further affect your health literally let's let's live so that's it from me guys um love peace i was gonna say love peace hair grease you know but that's really not my saying that's arts cleaves and i don't want to get cancelled by him <laughs> um but no literally let's learn let's laugh let's love let's grow and yeah man just enjoy it on a time stay safe and stay home peace Long from